I always regret when something has been done and I didn't get a chance to video it. Now this is one case in point. This is a maple stump that was obviously dug up from the ground and the top had been chopped and rotted over time and then gradually calloused over. People would normally throw this away. This is something that I've had for many years and we grew some new stems and it was just repotted yesterday but I didn't see the repotting process. I wish I had shown it to you. It was in a big round drum pot and it was languishing last year. It didn't do too well because the frost had damaged the leaves and in fact one of the branches may have died. But I'll just show you the detail. If you come close, you see what a gorgeous tree this is. And the beautiful root system, the massive powerful trunk. And this is certainly not a person's idea of what a mountain maple should be. Look at it. It looks like an elephant's foot or a hippopotamus, I don't know what to call it. But it's absolutely fantastic. And it's completely hollow inside. If you take a peek inside, it is rotten. It's almost like a crater of a volcano. And it is rotting so badly that I had to drill a hole so that I could let the water through into the bottom. Otherwise it acts like a, like a pool and the water just stays there. So this poor thing has died. I hope it'll grow again. This has died. But the tree is generally very healthy. So we've tidied it up again. So there you are. This is one of our specimens that I don't often show people. Uh, these were the black pines I worked on the other day. This is a little weed I dug up. I'm hoping it won't die. Just spotted it up. And again, if you look at this from all sides, from close up, and you see how we decorate this. This is just a Itoigawa juniper that we put in a pot off center and we decorated it with rocks. This I would uh, like to tell you is the work of one of our colleagues called Tibor or Terry to me and he is very good at doing these artistic landscapes and I'm going to get him to do one of these landscapes for you as a separate video on its own about how to decorate these uh, pots, how to beautify these trees. So I hope this little snippet will give you some idea as to what we're doing and while you're here you must be curious what this is. This is an ordinary lemon tree and I'm going to make that into a bonsai. So there's always something going on in the nursery. So we turn around, this is the potting process. At this time of the year, we are potting all our maples. So this is the maple compost, which has, I think, 50% acadama, some volcanic grit, pine bark and peat. If I can just walk around the nursery, I will show you the state of some of the trees. These mulberries are due for repotting. These maples have just been potted up. And I'm going to show you the state of the maple progression. This is an unheated greenhouse. The temperature is probably the same as the ambient temperature outside. The yeah, outside temperature today is 11 degrees or 12 degrees at 9 o'clock in the morning. And this is a day shoujo coming into leaf. Look at it. Look at these beautiful buds just appearing, these red buds. And next to it, this is a mountain maple just beginning to break bud. The color of the tips change when it starts to break bud. And as I said, they all are at different stages of progression. Now, I have several trident maples here. This is that very big old trident maple, which has got that massive nebari. And look at the buds on this one. The color of the leaves or the buds is green. And yet I have another trident maple next to it. And this one has got bronze or red tips to it. They're all trident maples, but they're all slightly different. And now those are those maples that we potted last week. That is our famous big maple group, a twin trunk. And there's my hedgehog tree. 
And there's that green maple there, that's also in leaf. Just to show you the color of the leaves. Lovely green leaves. And while I'm here, these are fig trees. The fig trees, the buds are beginning to appear. These are the massive figs. Some of them have still got the fruit from last year and hopefully they will develop into full-blown fruit later on. This is another maple. This is called Asahi Zuru. This maple has got three colors, pink, cream, and green. So the tips of the shoots are this lovely, delicate pink color. You must be wondering what I have tree ferns here, but we also grow other things. I just love plants and I grow all sorts of plants because it gives us endless pleasure. The junipers I'm not doing anything with, they're okay, but many of these are in growing pots to grow on strong, but they will eventually be put back into bonsai pots. Now all in the same greenhouse, look at this maple, it is so advanced, the leaves are almost completely out. They're all growing in the same environment, but every tree is behaving differently. There's another big one. I think I showed you this earlier on. This is a homemade tree that we dug up from the field about 10 years ago. This is being trained into that Peter Chan twin trunk style. And here you are. Look at the leaves on this one. And today is only the 20th of February and some of the maples are almost completely out. And yet some tried maples haven't even moved. These haven't moved. All in the same place. This one is still dormant, but this one just next to it has started leafing. So you do get a lot of variation between plants of the same species. It's like human beings, everyone is different. So this is a site of our working greenhouse or our workshop. And these are great big cycads. I love cycads. I developed the love of cycads from watching one of my great friends in India called Lala Sriram or Lala Sridhar. And he used to be a avid collector of cycads and I got my love of cycads from him and these are the trees out in the open there's a great big cedar bonsai junipers in training junipers in training so this is what you see when you come to the nursery at this time of the year we've had a storm over the weekend Three days ago, the storm has passed and everything, I wouldn't say is back to normal, but we didn't suffer too much damage. These are the junipers waiting to be repotted. All massive junipers we have. We have so much material. So even if we don't sell it, we enjoy working on them. Because for us, the love of bonsai is more important than the love of money. These are just casual shots of the nursery to show you what our ner normal nursery routine and normal nursery life is. There's another maple, look at that one. We will transform all these trees. Now this maple has just been repotted. Look at the nibari on this tree. Look at that one. People always ask me, have you got many bonsai on the nursery? They think that we as a nursery only have half a dozen trees to sell. No, we have thousands of trees to sell, all in different stages of development. That in case you wonder what it is, it's our security alarm. So if someone passes through one of our electronic beams, they set off the alarm. So we are heavily alarmed here because we do get theft. So that's the sad part of life. Crab apples, 
a few fruits still left over from last year. This is a yew tree, the winter color. It's not dying, but it's just the winter color. Winter frost blush, we call it. So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed this little tour and I will do more of these because people seem to like coming for a walk with me. So even though you are not here in person, you are here with me in spirit. Thank you very much.